Mike Sheehan, Spot X. Lori Baker, Discovery. And John Marshall, HP. So we just came out of the OTT session where we had a very, very lively debate. Um, you know, what we really wanted to cover today was just, you know, OTT is just the hottest topic out there. Uh, not only is it the hottest topic, it, it's really happening. There's a ton of inventory out there. We've got broadcasters out there that are making their inventory available, you know, to buyers, you know, programmatically. You know, we've got buyers out there who really, you know, they want to buy it. In some cases, they are, but really the industry, I think the consumer has really kind of beaten uh, everybody to the punch. And, and really, I think what we're hoping to get out of this session was complete agreement that buyers are going to shift all their spend over to OTT as soon as possible. But, I mean, what you hear was kind of a major holdup from that happening right now. Absolutely. That's a great question. So, one of the challenges we see as advertisers are, understanding how to plan it, um, how to measure it, um, what, what's really available out there, and, and uh, who, who's watching via OTT. Um, with Working with our agency partners, um, they're trying to figure out how do we plan and buy it and execute it. The, the uh, plumbing, so to speak, is, you know, is, is still maturing. Um, we've come a long way in the last year, but there's still some operational challenges that exist within agencies and within um, marketing organizations within brands. So there's an education that needs to happen. Um, there's more technology integration and alignment on how we should measure it. Yeah, and I heard a couple things. One, before the session where you're like, you know what, you just gotta experiment. You gotta get yes. it done. Uh, and then Adam Gerber, of course, in the session, you know, he was out there just going, come on guys, you know, buyers just, they need to step up to the plate. They need to kind of do some, you know, use their gut. We know the inventory's good. We know there's a large audience out there. And so I, I think you guys were saying kind of the same theme as well. Yeah. So I, I would I would take it more of a test and learn approach versus just go <laughs> just, with your gut. Well, I like um, just go with it. But, but yeah. we, we know there, there are, there's lots of people um, watching via OTT. I think the the challenge is how do we how do we transact in it um, and and still measure the effectiveness of that so that we can understand what to do with that going forward as good trying to be good stewards with our marketing budget. So um, yeah, I think test and learn is the right thing to do now, um, and then it, and and expand it as as you understand more about it and and as the industry aligns on some of these. Yeah. I love where the debate kind of went in regards to just the environment itself and the safetiness of it and the fraudulent nature and and just the, the where Adam was really going was you know it's a new platform and we need to take a risk mm -hmm. and yes we want to measure it and stop applying all your standard media buying principles and and staying away from it rather than just pick one partner yeah. we can test and learn directly you know with a relationship one-on-one -on -one, whether it's us as a publisher and you as a brand through either a technology partner or with an agency and then we can, we can measure anything it's hard to measure multiple publishers multiple scale which i think is the is the challenge that's keep kind of people you know and that was where some of the conversation yes. went today which was you know i just want to be able to plan it and measure it at massive scale well you know what it's a new environment yeah. you got it you've got it let's go in and tap your toes and pick a couple partners and figure out up front what do we want to measure is it just awareness is it completion is it as basic as that is it is it age and demo or you know based on our TV principles I think it's just being able to accept taking a risk in this new environment because as we all decide, as we all talked about, it's a brand new audience. Yeah. You're not reaching these people through t traditional TV marketplaces. And if you want these cord cutters, you're gonna have to get on their platforms. And maybe you don't learn everything, but you're gonna learn little pieces as you go along. And you just gotta take a risk we can't wait. and jump in. We can't you're wait for it to be perfect. Exactly. To experiment and you have to, think that this is just like any of the digital um, channels as those have emerged. Yeah. There was a lot of uncertainty, a lot of hype, and a lot of confusion around how things are you know, connected and how do we measure this and what's it worth to us. Again, you have to go in with, I, I believe, and, and you know, I'm, I'm sure there's lots of marketers out there to believe, I think we have to test and learn and, yeah. And go in with uh, with eyes open and expectations that we'll probably run into some some ups and downs, 
Um, one thing that we didn't talk about in the session, we kind of ran out of time, that I wanted to talk about was how should we think about uh, addressing our customers, knowing that it's a highly addressable format, yep. how should we be addressing them different than we would linear TV or uh, digital, like well, a typical so digital video? So creative. creative. So we didn't, uh -huh. we didn't talk about that, but one of the things that we're finding in the OTT environment, especially connected devices, is the engagement with the ads is much greater. And so there's all these interactive video ad opportunities yeah. that you can you know, um, serve based on geo or behaviors or weather, et cetera. So there's a lot of great engagement and interactivity that you can do in this environment all based on the remote of the OTT platform that the consumer is watching it on. I was surprised because you have that. You mm -hmm. have the interactivity, you have the targeting, yep. all the first and third party data. Um, you know, obviously you have an a engaged uh, consumer, and yet there was still a little debate about the value of it versus So I didn't TV. answer that question. No, and I, I, I mean, to so, me, it's more value, yes. right, so, given all of that. Yes, yeah. so from our, I mean, in our world, we are still, we still have different pricing yeah. from a linear perspective and a video perspective. Um, and I think maybe if ad serving were to ever get on the same platform, we may be able to have a same pricing conversation, but you know, for all the reasons that we talked about, this is a lean forward environment. People selected the program that they want to watch. Yeah. It's a you know 44 minute long, you know, if not longer program. The, the the engagement is there. The interaction with the advertising is there. It's a much more valuable um, environment. Yeah. So for now, we have them priced differently, yeah. um, and we'll continue to push that in the marketplace until it can be ad served through the same. Yeah platform. I, I got to say, this is the most speaking we've done because during the 45 minute session, yeah. we barely spoke. Yeah. The audience just took over yeah. and kind of went at each other, which was really cool to see. Yeah. yeah. That's great. That's definitely a, uh, an exciting and popular topic right now. Yeah. Absolutely. And what were some of the audience insights, questions, disagreements? Uh, is there fraud? Uh, the, the, there, there was a debate about whether or not there's fraud in, in OTT. OTT. Yeah. Um, and that was that was a, a that got people fired heated, up. Uh, well, heated conversation. I th yeah, I mean, just digital has been rife with brand safety and fraud. So um, here's a new marketplace, and you know, depends on what side you're on. I don't know where he was from because he was like, I'm not in this industry, but if I were. I would be concerned with this massive amount of fraud. So there, right You're now, not in this industry. What then, is he doing here? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, He's, he I must agree. be in it in some way, shape, or form. But to me, it was, you know, right now we control 100% of the experience. We publishers aren't putting premium long form content into the open exchanges, which is where the majority of fraud is happening um, and spoofing. So. It definitely caused some heat and sparks because I do think that there is expectation that, well, we can't measure it, so there must be fraud or yeah. and it must not be viewable. Right, right. So I think advancements in how information is shared, be it you know um, a ledger-based approach or direct um, relationships with publishers, that can definitely open up um, the transparency yeah. and and a lot of the fear that yeah. might exist because I think uh, you know when you, we talk about fraud in video it's it's been, it's been rampant and so we've come a long way to yeah. try to, to address that yeah. I think the immediate concerns and I can understand why yeah. someone would say that um, but I think as I think we have the ability to get out ahead of that and and yes. address that up front with these com these kinds of conversations yeah well, I think we are at a point in our industry where you know direct buying in a programmatic fashion happens. Yeah. So do you want to avoid fraud? Buy it directly from the mm -hmm. source. Don't buy it from the company that says they can get you this inventory right. from Discover. Right. Right. No one, yeah, we own 100% I mean, of the is, content and the experience. Yeah. So if that's your, if that's concern, your concern, then go direct. Right. Right. Exactly.